Hey everyone, thank you for tuning in to Team Forbidden's YouTube page again. It's Andrew the Collector here um, with a over a little bit overdue deck profile uh, for Numrons. Um, this deck has seen a lot of popularity ever since it was released in the Battles of Legend Armageddon uh, uh, set. Um, there have been a lot of different variations of it. One where you can do it with Elblitch, with Sky Striker, with even with Invoked and everything. Um, and while those are all cool, I prefer the Pure because you don't really need to rely on a lot of different combos you, and you can run hand traps galore. But if I were to pick the best one, I would say El the Eldritch version is the best one uh, for the current format. But there have been so many different, so many uh, deck, deck profiles for that that you can go and check out on other channels like uh, Six Sam's or House of Champs or um, any of those other ones. But um, I decided to go with the pure one just for, you know, to keep the uniqueness for our channel. So let's just get right into it. So the first card is um, the first, uh, number on wall. What this card does, it's a hand trap um, to where you can discard from your hand to activate one uh, Numeron network from your uh, great from your hand or deck. We'll, but we'll get to that in a minute. And if your um, opponent attacks you and you take damage, you can send this from your hand or from the field to make that to um, end the battle and end the battle phase right there. So it's good for protection, and it's good to get out your uh, key card of the entire deck. Next is a three-planet uh, Pathfinder. Um, just other ways to get to our field spell as quick as possible, because if you get that out, then um, you can gain advantage. So you want to get to it as soon as possible. And like I said, it's hand traps galore. We have three of the big bath water baby, as John likes to John like uh, well, I can't speak today, as John likes to call it. Uh, two Effect Veiler, two DD Crow. You can run any hand traps that you want, but I prefer these ones because they're I think they're the best ones for the current format. And then two Gamma Seal. Because the way that this deck strategy is, is that you if you attack into your opponent's uh, stuff and swing for game, if all they have is a ga Gamma Seal on their side of the field, it's um, an automatic uh, game if you can swing in with all four of your Numeron monsters at once. And that's it for the monsters. It's a small monster count um, because this is really all you need. You can fill the uh, monsters up with what, whichever ones you want if you want to go pure. But for our spells, we have three Numeron Network and three Numeron Calling. What Numeron Network does is it allows you to, when, uh, once per turn, to send a Numeron Calling from your deck, and Network gains the effect of Numeron Calling. And while this is on the field, your Numeron Exceeds monsters can activate their effects with de without detaching any materials as cost. Um, but the effect of Numeron Calling is you can special summon um, as many Numeron uh, number monsters from your extra deck as possible with different names um, without requiring any materials. But you can only summon once after you activate this effect. So these are your key cards. Um, three and three in a pure build uh, it's three and two in different variations but for the pure build you gotta go three for each and then the one terraforming to get to the to network as quick as possible uh, three memories of hope because yes the exceeds monsters are um, our number monsters so if you get all four if you get all four of them out and you activate this that's um, you draw four right there so if you don't get ash blossomed it's uh, it's a big plus then three, Begone Demon Child. Um, it's crucial for this deck because the hand traps really do hurt this deck. Even though that this um, deck is entirely linear, um, one uh, one Ghost Ogre or one Ash Blossom could really, really hurt you. And back rows are probably our biggest enemy, so I run two Cosmic Cyclones. You can run Twit and Twister if you want, or any kind of back row hate. Then two, uh, Dark Ruler No More. You only use this if you your opponent has any um, unbreakable boards of uh, negates like uh, the Adamancipators or the Invoked or Enchidals. You may not be able to swing for game that day, but uh, that that uh, round. But you'll be able to uh, get over their field and then uh, go into Zexol to set up for your next turn. One Upstar Goblin and one Regeki to help push uh, for your combo pieces and to help clear your opponent's boards of what you can. And then one Pot of Avarice because the recycling is really good to recycle your hand traps or your walls, and then draw two cards.
Then for our traps, we have three infinite and permanents um, for you know more hand traps galore, and it's really good to help stall your opponent out. One metaverse, um, you know, like I said, to get to network as quickly as possible. And like I said, uh, back row is our enemy, so one red reboot because we can only have one. Now off to the extra deck. It's very simple. Three uh, number number one numeron uh, gate. Uh, num number three, number four, and number two. Um, they all share the same effect. Uh, none of them can be destroyed by battle. Um, and if you're this card battles an opponent's monster, you can detach the material from it uh, to make um, all your numeron monsters attack doubled. But if you have network out, you don't need to detach material. So if you attack with uh, one into one monster, take damage. The other two go into two thousand. Attack with the other one. The other two go to four thousand, and then just so on and so forth, and swing for game. Very simple. And then just one of number C1. Um, you don't really need him as often. Um, it's, like I said, to go uh, break your opponent's unbreakable boards because when he's summoned, um, all cards on the field, all monsters on the field are banished, and all your mon and this guy returns to your field uh, after uh, your next standby phase. And for the rest of the extra deck, we have two... Utopic, Zex, uh, Utopic Zexels. Um, a lot of people say this card should be banned. I don't think it should because um, it's a, it's summon can be uh, can't be negated. No cards can be affected activate when it's summoned. And during your opponent's turn, you detach a material and they can't activate their cards or effects. So it's really good, and I think it really balances out the game. And even though that it's summon can't be negated, its effect can. It could still be a veilered or impermanent. So it's not entirely perfect but you know and then one um, infinite track uh, mega clops because if you get three um, of the exceeds out really good going to this a lot of the decks are, nowadays can't really have any don't really have an answer to it and then off to the side deck like I said it's hand traps galore so two of the moonlit chill three ogres three Nibiru and three haunted mansion Plus for the back row hate, three twin twister, and finally two heavy storm, <coughs> heavy storm duster. And that's it for the deck profile. Uh, again, um, sorry that this took took so long to come out. Um, thank you so much for your patience. Um, if you want to see um, our version of an Elvich build or some kind of variation like Invoked or Sky Striker or whatever, comment down below. Um, if you want to see a combo tutorial, comment down below combo tutorial. But please like, comment, subscribe. Give us um, any ideas of what you want us to do in the future for deck profiles and hit that bell for notifications and we'll catch you guys later.